Chapter 9 Callings Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for Altitia in high spirits. The prince goes forth ostensibly to seek the blessings of the Hydrian, which will enable him to challenge the Empire's might. But his true heart's desire is to find Lunafreya, his betrothed. Yeah, so in the last video, guys, it should be a... Uh, last video, I'm pretty sure, is going to be a shorter... Was going to be a shorter one. Because I'm uh, recording the beginning of this chapter and then all of chapter 8 in this one sitting. Just for the... Just to fill in the beginning of chapter 9. Yeah, in the last one, we did a little side quest just for the heck of it. For cup noodles and we uh, fought a behemoth. A behemoth? What the heck? A behemoth. It's a enemy that's always been in Final Fantasy games. And then after that, we went to Cape Kayim to set sail for Altitia, and we said our goodbyes to everyone for a little while. And yeah, we are finally heading to Altitia, which is what I've been wanting to do. And you guys will see why in either this video or the next video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Altitia, city on the sea. Gain entry to... You know I've always wanted to go I think that's like the this. little entrance to Altitia. There's a little few good um, conversations amazing. between our little go group of characters here in this game on this boat ride. Content. It's a little long because you can see it's six, um, six miles in-game miles. But I will like edit it here and there so it'll be shorter for you guys. And there's still more to come. So, next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and... So is Leviathan, but Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, but doesn't move it. Hmm. 
For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Insane. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altisha. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altisha by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all tugged out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic's on our first order of business. All work and no play makes it a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh! Was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. And does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. All right, guys, we're at the entrance of Altitia. Sorry, that was just, I thought that was gonna be like separate conversations, but that was just really one super long one. I'm still gonna put it in there.
because I don't think it was that long, but I'm just finally glad we're here in Altitia. I mean, look at this place. It's so beautiful. Mwah. I just love it here. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Sid coming in clutch. Sid coming in clutch. I'd say that. 30 odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Finally back on land. Uh, barely. They call it the Walls of Water. But it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not uh -huh. this. Catch. Uh oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Oh, girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? Sid has given you the key to the royal vessel, but you are not able to go sailing at this time. Aww. That's one thing I haven't really done a whole lot in, like, the recent update they gave, like, a year ago. Um, you get to sail a lot. Also in this, uh, the royal edition I got. What's next? Yeah, let's go Immigration? try and enter There's still over more? here. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? What do you purpose want from I... me, man? Our purpose? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Ask Ignis. Leave it to see. Let's ask Ignis. Ignis, a little help? Oh, utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. Heck yeah, man. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Like, ask Ignis. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll Mago. make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Because I know if you ask Sid, um, that dude, the little vendor guy in that little booth, he'll ask for like a certain amount of money. And he'll just charge us. Sid, what you gotta say? You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. And old Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. Take a look at this. What about it? He just stood there, staring at the church and looking What is it, Gladdy? The Laville Altitia, conveniently located near Gondola Stop. Our hotel. Oh, yeah, it's the hotel that we get to stay at here. Nice. Alright, let's head over to our next destination, which is the little bar. Mago. Let's go. Hey, knocked. That looks like a fishing so, spot. I know the spot this we have to go to. There's like a little gondola you can to get there. Here. Only one because around that spot, Mago is just all water. So the only spot. Not the only spot. The only way we can get there is through a 
gondola. And, oh wait, no, this is the rocks. Wait, no, this is the right spot, right? I wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? Who's quite smitten with her? Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy? RNA or Cindy? <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Luna Freya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off? Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Maybe I might do that. Who knows? One hell of a crowd. Okay, I I, I did it. Okay. That's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy, and it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. Let's grab a bar Aww. Okay, let's go find that bar. <laughs> Oh wait, look, we're like really close to it. Oh yeah, in the last video I saw uh, when I was changing my audio, I put the master volume down instead of the music. That's not what I wanted. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskamama, as you gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. <laughs> Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Maybe she can ally herself with the Prince now that he's come back to Shut life. up, let us talk! Wait, is that why she went to Mago? Oh my gosh. That Wescom guy's from Insomnia too. You know. So this Finally. is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country nice is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. <laughs> Look at his Most mouth. We do requires <laughs> what happened permission. to his mouth? And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Uh, ask about the Oracle. Where's Luna? You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Oh, I was trying to go into first person. Ah, you've an ear for Whoops. gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, Come to my estate. 
bet. I got a fat brain. My brain's so fat. She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh. Okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Uh, might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. What should I the buy? summit. Head to the Laville. No problem. Like we got the secretary of Mago again. Well, she and the barkeep sure are friendly. The Laville station. All right. Have a look at this, knocked. No, I'm it. good. I'm good. I'm the king. Hey, Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Summon him when you rest the lodgings. Characters will retain their current level and abilities. Rental chocobos will automatically re return to the post. The place you called Umbra will be set as your last rest point. Yeah, so if we go to any resting point, like, I, bl I don't know about a camp, but I know lodgings and, like, the little mobile homes you see, like, all around um, the map in this game. There will be an option that says, uh call umbra and you could like travel to the past so like if you're stuck in an area like here in altisha or in another spot in the game and you want to go back to the to an area and you want to do like a side quest you just call umbra and you can go back and then you go back to that rest point and then you'll be back here to where you were so yeah that's cool you can now set sail or I said that wrong. You can now sail the open seas in the royal vessel. Oh, it's royal vessel, not royal cruiser. Board the boat from Golden Key, Cape Kayam, or Altitia. Messenger's amulet. Head to the first secretary of state. Oh, already? Okay. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, actually, like let's we make have a daytime. Any other option. I hate There's it when no it's dark. There's no how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. And we're here. Once the negotiation begins, you will be unable to return to the city. Are you certain you wish to continue? Yep. The Accordo Protect. Torah, I don't know how to say that, whatever. An island nation, uh, I didn't get to read it. Oh, y'all get to pause it. When I had first played this for the first time, this part, I was really confused. But now I get everything. So I know, I know exactly what to do. Y'all might be confused, or it might be easy to some of y'all. Thank you for coming. Negotiation is about to begin with First Secretary Claustra. I think that's how you say your name. Engage her in a manner befitting a king, whatever, and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No sweat. First things first. No sweat. First, uh, probe knowledge. Pry into private affairs. Express gratitude. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. The Empire demands that Luna be handed over. Doubt Luna security demands to see Luna show concern for a cordo. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Answer vaguely, tell her nothing, be truthful. Be truthful, guys. Come on, we gotta be truthful. 
She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archeon. Tell me, what happened? We gotta be truthful, man. We gotta be truthful. We're the king. I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Show concern for the city, allude to a common enemy, be realistic. Show concern for their city, man. We gotta be respectful. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. Yes, I agree. I agree with you. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. No problemo. I agree. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. I know. I'm confident in myself, bro. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Yep, I agree amicably. I thought I selected it. Whatever. Yes, I agree. Alright. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. Hey, I'm an empathetic king. <laughs> All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thank you. I love my father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According well, to our funny. intel, I have the exactly Imperial three fleet friends will with be four me. warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> Noctis won the first secretary's unreserved trust. Nice. And I got four Oracle Ascension coins. Which I never use. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right.
During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You had better get going. Your public is waiting for you. You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith. For our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all.
can see him. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay, look after the citizens. We got them covered. So, it begins. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Serious. Ah! Whoa, whoa, y'all are actually like not losing them to Let's change that. Bro, you wanna okay? Smack you! Ha, how'd you like that? Oh my gosh. Let's do this. Heck yeah, knocked. Come here! Come here! What are y'all doing? Get out of Altitia! This is my favorite spot in the game! Okay, you wanna play like that? You wanna play like that? <clears throat> I'm gonna do a spinning move on you. Oh wait, I didn't do it. How about now? Spin, spin! Heck yeah, he didn't like that, did he? Oh my gosh. Dude, I've always loved how... Humongous this thing is. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our stars. For praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Oh, Luna got some freaking I vow power. The king will prove himself worthy. What about you guys? We'll wait below. There's only room for two. 
Can we just smack that ship? What? Jump. Man. Whoa! How was this? New ride we borrowed from the Nifs. This will get us in close. You just borrowed it. Here she comes. Oh crap! Luck. Perry. Forgot that this, this happened. Right. Shh, you ain't got nothing on me. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're just a water dragon. Hey, nice job finding this baby. Well, when I saw her, Where are you from, Naruto? <laughs> Not again. That was a bad joke. Not ah, oh. oh crap, no luck. Is that it? Uh, mm, doing nothing. No, ah. hey, oh crap. It's the Hydrian. Not. Can you reach? No. Why? Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Request her power. No, we're demanding, dude. We're we're a king. Hey! Your power! Give it up! Adopt a reasonable tone. Nah, dude. No. No, we're the king. Don't you understand? I'm the king! Damn right. I'm the king! So, you wanna do this the hard way? Fine. What is it? Ever. You're not strong. I'm the one true king. That means I won already. What you got? What you got? Nothing, right? You have nothing. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? I don't need no resurrections. Hit you right in the face. Maybe it was the eyeball, I don't know. <laughs> now, about that ring. Freaking ardent man. On second thought. You let him have it. <laughs> Not our Luna. And do remind him about the crystal. <laughs> oh, Prince, your bride awaits. I will pass the ring to the rightful king. is fulfilled all in thrall to darkness shall know peace
You better get messed up. Boom, air dash, dude. I love doing air dash on this. Woo! What are you gonna do? This has always been one of the best fights in this yeah. game. I love it. so bad where am I going where am I going where am I going you don't know because you're bad huh what are you gonna do what are you gonna... oh crap I was gonna try and dodge but I didn't know there's gonna be a quick time event but who cares let's go where are you going where are you going ba -ba 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 -ba. Who do you think you are? Come here, I'm gonna warp strike you. Oh, you're going underwater. Think you have a little advantage? No, you don't! Come here, come here, come here, come here. What are you gonna do? You gonna do the same thing again? Cause you stupid! You stupid! You're so dumb. Oh, come here. Come here, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're so dumb, dude. You're so dumb. <clears throat> Why are you, you're not a god? You're just a big lizard. You can't. You just went inside the building, dude. You just probably killed a lot of people. Actually, no. Everyone got a bad. You thought. You thought. Come here. I'm gonna break your horns. Are you trying to hit me or what? Oh crap, you were trying to hit me. <laughs> oh no, I, I just ran into a tornado. <laughs> the person I've ever done that. Come here. Come Ow. I heard it. You suck. What are So bad. What's I gonna do? Nothing, right? Nothing. I know what I'm about to do. Break your wing. Yeah, that was a horror. I'm trying to break your wing. I'm break your wing. I didn't get to break your other horns. I want to break your horn. You let me break your horns. Why can't I warp strike? Let me break them. Let me break your horns. What's that going to do? Nothing. Because I'm right. Ooh, get off me. Oh, come on, B button. Come on, B button. Come on, B. Come on, B. Oh. Yeah, bro, you ain't got nothing. Stupid! This is for Luna, even though you didn't do anything! 
That felt good. <laughs> Noctis? Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. That doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? And it seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis.
back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. That's the end of the chapter. And yeah, it's a pretty sad one. <laughs> uh, still gets a tear out of me every time. I'm not kidding. <laughs> What is that supposed to be? Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Comment down below what you thought was your favorite part of this video. Also, down below in the description will be the links to the social media for my Instagram. The social media for Prime, their, um, the group I'm in, their Instagram. And also the social media for... The members in Prime also, yeah, it's a lot, but it's not, actually not a lot. Also, my Twitch is uh, down there in the description as well. I haven't been streaming as much, but I'm trying to get back into it because I've been concentrating a lot on these YouTube videos every week. So, yeah, go give me a follow. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, fair winds.